Hello, welcome to this series, Learning to Play Klezmer. And in this installment, we're going to talk about the doina. The doina is a wonderful opportunity to really expand your playing because it is music that is rhythmically free, like a cadenza, um, and um, very, very, very expressive, and also gives you a chance to bring in all of the ornaments that you've learned and that you know. Um, the other thing about it is that it's relatively static harmonically. So you can stay on one chord for a relatively long time, so you don't have to worry about changing chords and, and, and changing harmonies and harmonic rhythm and things like that. Of course, it can, they can get very fancy and very complicated later on, but we're going to keep it very, very simple for today. So, um, the doina. Let's just start by taking a scale, starting on the note E, a klezmer mode, really is what it is, and these are the notes. E, F sharp, G, A sharp, B, and then up further, B, C sharp, D. Up to the high E and back down, and now all the way down. We take those notes and we're just going to start very, very, very simply. Um, we're going to only stick to those notes and bring in trills and bring in grace notes and bring in krechts and bring in the, the, um, the nyak nyak sounds and whatever we can think of. And I'm just going to play something. I'm not exactly sure what's going to come out, but I'm only going to keep it to those notes. And this is an example of a very simple doina. So if we break it down a little bit, what did I do? Well, I would stay on one note for a while and I might uh, correct it. Another thing um, that you can think about is that ends of phrases a lot of times have that repeated note, um, the note that you end on and repeat it a bunch of times. That really comes from the cantorial um, um, inflections, the cantorial tradition, the way a cantor would chant uh, in synagogue. This is kind of a secular, non-liturgical, instrumental um, version of that. Obviously there was a lot of interconnectedness. And um, uh, so you can repeat those notes. It's like die, 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 die. You know, it's a very Jewish thing. Um, and then we can move up from there. Just stepwise to the G. Crafting. A uh, laughing, crying sound. Some trills and cracks. Great longing. The playing has to have tremendous longing in it. A little turnaround. And vibrato also keeps things moving. Um, now you can look online and you can find a lot of information, historical information about the doina, about its role in klezmer music and in life cycle events, in the wedding, 
Um, it really is a very, very important component of all of this. But um, I'll leave that to you to explore. And um, again, I think you just really want to listen as much as you can and absorb as much as you can from as many players as you can and from as many recordings as you can. And I think you'll get the hang of it. Later on, we'll do a segment that's got a lot of, um, uh, you know, more fancy chord changes. But for this, but when you begin, just keep it very simple. Okay, feel free to schedule lessons with me online or contact me if you want more information, and I'll be happy to try and help. Thank you.